I have two marks here. One for up here and the other one I don't want to go past that here. So those marks are good to right here. This is where this is how deep I want to go and this is where I can start widening it out in there. So that's that's what I do on probably all of my larger type uh, hollows. This little guy right here. So each piece that's hollowed, you have to look at it as an individual. And you know, some of them are you know, pretty easy. Others you have to have a little more patience with them. And uh, you might have to make something like this, um, oh, some rake. Uh, just to get the job done, but that's the way it is. Okay, <clears throat> I'm to the point of, um, I've been down to the bottom uh, a little bit, and I cleaned out some things in the, in the middle of, of the vase, and then I came back up to here, but I don't have enough material gone from right here in the shoulder to, to finish this out. <clears throat> so sometimes, just to keep your confidence up, just to make sure that everything is right and, and where it should be, you want, might want to work it back and forth. Like on a lot of these uh, wide type shoulder vases, I'll work here, and then I'll work here, and I'll work back. And I'll work back and forth here to take it all out, you know, kind of at the same time. I'm not just, I, I don't depend on coming in here and hitting this spot once and, and it's all over with. That's just not the way it works for me a lot of times. Um, so it's, on a vase like this, you have to just kind of take your time, think about it maybe, and make sure that your adjustments are right. You know, I, I come over the top of this. I make sure that my my uh, shaft can fit in the hole here. Okay, I make sure of that, and then I I do the same thing here. I line it up where I want it, and I make sure that I have the the proper setting of this. So I'm that's what I'm doing right now. Is I'm going through and and just making sure that that what I'm doing is um, proper as far as uh, you know I, I don't want to lose this vase I've never I've never uh, turned a vase of uh, uh, this shape before and uh, it has a pretty narrow little shoulder up here as far as getting into to hollow it out so I'm kind of curious uh, about that but uh, I don't think there should be too much of a problem. Just, I just have to take my time and uh, make sure what I'm doing is uh, 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 the right thing at the right time. That's all. Because I don't want to be out of position when I'm working inside, I set up this little mirror right here. So when I'm out here, I can stay in position and I can also watch my spring and what it's doing. All I have to do is glance up, but I can stay in position. You can also see how it's being held down by, uh, by the piece that I'm working on, even though it's not turning 
um, the, the spring is out of position so I'll just keep going here until it gets back into position I don't have that much to go but I just did want to uh, uh, pass this little tip on to you as my mentor did to me okay I put these pencil lines on here and on here and that's because my my spring um, is smaller than the blade so I don't want to come out here with my spring and then my blade be cutting over here okay same way here I don't want to be putting my spring out here where I think the thickness is okay and then it's not that it cuts through here so that's why I have these lines it's just a reminder and uh, I mark the tool I mark the piece I do a lot of things um, to aid myself. So I went